you've been given for thinking that today was any ordinary day. And as you can see right now, I'm self-medicating because last night we made a very big decision and tomorrow we're gonna leave them apart. We are in complete disarray. Our bags are a mess. Our original plan was to leave in a week's time, but we checked the flights last night and the prices have skyrocketed. 500 euros more than what we were when we first looked. We've made the decision to leave tomorrow, but it's put us in a tricky situation because we're not prepared, we're not ready. We're not mentally in the right state for it because we thought we had another week. We're nervous about leaving and leaving Ciamara's family. To highlight it, as you can see, this is not quite one bag travel, is it? Oh. Of course, that was being dramatic. But as you can see, this bag is overpacked. So we are going to be in Nepal in next week, basically doing a big circuit. So we definitely need to solve this problem. So I'm gonna show you what we are going to do with our bag. Okay, so this is the current situation. I'm carrying with me a Fairview 40 or spray bag. Everything is already fairly well packed. Everything is packing packing cube, so everything is okay. The only problem is it's too full. I need to reduce a little bit the volume of this because I've been in the north with my family and Wayne and I realized that it's too hard to close this seat out. Obviously, I don't have any experience. I've not been traveling before, so I'm taking all the guidance from my boyfriend. He's an experimented, should I say, um, traveler. So yeah, I'm going to start. I'm going to make this a little bit more comfortable for me to be carrying this all over the monta mountains of Nepal. So let's do it. I will show you the result when it's done. This is my situation. This right here is the Air Travel Pack 3. I absolutely love this bag. I'm a big procrastinator, so it took me a very long time to make the decision to pick this bag. But I have a motto in life, and it's you buy nice or you buy twice. And so this expensive bag can be yours for just 24999. But love you, don't work for the company, so they are not paying us. So come down, you just can Don't break much. <laughs> so this is my situation. Now this bag is a little bit different to Ciamara's in the sense that this is not just one main cavity. There's lots of little zips, knickknacks, all kinds of stuff. But inside, where the magic happens, we've got current situation, one packing cube, peak design. Again, not sponsored. But as you can see inside right now, I am basically empty. Do not be fooled by this mirage because this is just the magic of television. All of my stuff is hiding here and here. And so, we also have a problem. Siamara has now removed all of the items from her bag. We do have this monster hiding here, but we're gonna pretend that that doesn't exist. Everything is out. And as you can see, it's actually not that much, but when you put it all in a small compartment, it kind of gets to be a bit lumpy. So we've got to get rid of some things. I mean, for example, Siamara thinks that she's going to be going on a job interview when she's uh, in Nepal. But what do you think you're going to get rid of? To be honest, it's a very difficult question, probably. I'm going to try to get some space in your bag. In my bag. <laughs> yes, maybe you can help me out a bit. What we're trying to do on this trip is to be minimalists. We're quite minimalists in our lives anyway, but we would like to travel with one bag each or one and a half bags, you know, maybe a little uh, bag on the front. But trying to keep everything simple, keep everything to, yeah, a minimum. The main thing is we want to just have that one bag with us. I don't want to be on an aeroplane and be landing somewhere in India and wondering if my bag's made it safe. We're gonna have the bag with us, and of course to do that, it means you've got to keep it small. It means, unfortunately, your uh, clothes are gonna to have to go. I know, I know, that's what we are doing right now. Uh, I don't know what to say about this, there is nothing really to say, I just need to think and just get rid of some things and just basically look like a photography every single day when we are traveling. Did that make any sense to you? 
I'm struggling. <laughs>
and this pair of like normal day trousers, again like cotton or something like that. Those are great. I've got three long sleeves. This is a jumper which was a last minute decision. Um, I kind of packed this as the taxi was, you know, as, sorry, as my uh, lift to the airport was coming. Um, I've got this Berghaus uh, kind of sweater, I don't know what you call it, like a little zip on the front. And this is more of like a, not even quite a t-shirt, but a long sleeve one, this is Under Armour, I think. I've got in this pile three t-shirts, a normal cotton shirt, I've got this Under Armour training shirt, and I've got this Merino wool one, which again is specifically for Nepal because Merino wool doesn't absorb uh, bacteria or something like that, but it basically doesn't smell. I've got three vests, I've got three shirts, a long sleeve, two short sleeve. I've got three pairs of socks, another pair of ankle socks, two pairs of boxers. Now, of course, I've got some things in the wash and I am wearing some now as well. Um, oh, and I forgot, I've got this one. I'm not gonna unwrap it because it was a pain to wrap, but this is, I think, a Berghaus uh, jacket. Like, a, not quite waterproof, but one that's maybe good for the sunshine. Like, it's got the reflective material on it, so it'll keep me warm and cool. And then I've got this, my Jack Wolf skin uh, jacket, so it's kind of soft on the inside, extremely waterproof on the outside. I actually took this with me traveling last time. This was a, a brilliant buy. I want to repeat my motto about buying nice or buying twice. I, I really favor quality. And then in terms of my packing cubes, again, I'm with a Peak Design. These are not the cheapest, but they are excellent. These are compression cubes. And on the other side, they have a little zip so you can put the dirty things in. These are, again, questionable in terms of the price, but unquestionable in terms of quality. This one, uh, I have another one here, a smaller one. I've got a travel towel. I've got a hat, again, wouldn't ordinarily pack that, but we're going to Nepal. This little pouch for documents, cap. This is a packable backpack. I don't really foresee that I'll use that much, but I'm a little concerned about going on buses, trains, taxis, and whatever, and having to stow this bag away and not have my laptop on me. Not because the game's all steered, steal it, but I'm just scared of it being damaged. So this is being packed to remove the laptop if necessary. And then I've got this, which is a sling. Uh, this is again is by Air. Very high quality, recommend this brand for sure. This is X-Pack, so it's waterproof. Um, and just, yeah, great for knickknacks, your phone, your wallet, other little bits that you can just keep on your front, um, away from prying hands. That has been very, very good for my time in Spain. I can highly recommend either that or just any kind of sling. And then, obviously, all these little tidbits. So these are filters uh, for the camera. And this is my photography camera. This is a Fujifilm X100V. Uh, the little leather sleeve for it. And various batteries and, and whatnot. And then this, if you've got a MacBook, you'll understand the monstrosity of this thing for traveling. That, I think, is gonna be behind because I purchased this and this is fantastic this is a travel adapter so you've got all the various plugs and so you can change these for the different outlets um, but this is a GAN charger which basically means there's technology inside of it there's certain materials and products used inside which allows this to be uh, to, to charge uh, a lot of things very efficiently so you see as well as it being an adapter it's got all these different ports on it this is brilliant and it's brilliant primarily for me because this as well as being a travel adapter can replace that because that's a nightmare but you can see right now the kind of struggle i'm having i don't have a lot like if you look like i say with the t-shirts there's three here i've got one outside drying plus the one i'm wearing and it's too much too many things in the bag. It packs away fine, but it's heavy, and I don't want to do a 200 mile walk with these things. So where do I even begin? I, I don't know, I, I don't know. You help me, I don't know. Hey, it's a bugger. And he got squashed. 
we are now in our way to get the last thing that we need to get to buy uh, because uh, Wayne needs some chaver. Stop doing that. I uh, need some chaver and then I also need some little things. Joder, I, you're making me feel blind. <laughs> Survival mode. Trainers are bought. Some Nikes, some new socks. And I found a monster on the way. So shoes bought I, I just picked up some nike pegasus ones that are made for trail running just because they've got better grip on the bottom the shoes i've got now like they're brilliant they're super comfortable but the grip on the bottom is worn away and so being in the mountains like i'd rather just have some good shoes so i've bought those some new socks um plenty of other things that we need still but we're both just so tired now that uh, we want to go home have some food spend some of the last few hours with Ciamara's family and then up early for the flight tomorrow, 6 a.m. So yeah, we're kind of both feeling a little bit like, I don't think we know what planet we're on at the minute. Both feeling a little bit confused. You know, this has been coming for so long, but something's been coming for so long, but it's like kind of struck really quick. Especially yesterday, having to book that flight last minute. So now, yeah, we're kind of still processing everything. Um, what are we doing? Um, so yeah, we're gonna go back now, got some food, we'll show you that and then we'll end the video ready for tomorrow. No, I don't have energy to actually say absolutely anything right now. I want to go home, eat something with my family and then get ready for tomorrow morning. So that's my only plan. I had enough, absolutely enough. So see you tomorrow. <laughs> we have here the super chef making us a delicious dinner today. Fer, ¿qué nos vas a cocinar esta noche? Pues vamos a hacer un entrecote de ternera con verduras salteadas a la plancha con pimienta. Salpimentada, como Dios manda. Y aquí que se vaya haciendo lento. Lento, lento, lento. Haven't seen better chef as this man in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. The vale, result was fully packed. Almost, minus a couple of bits. But we're all done, ready to leave the house at 6 a.m. And we're preparing strong. Where we're having our last dinner with my family and then basically this is what we always have for it and this then we the, have baby this is our firewall this is your um, last taste of luxury for the next delicious. however long because you're not going to get any red wine in nepal or india or anywhere else and so it sounds very exciting anyway enjoy right i will try to uh, we'll catch you tomorrow for the next one we're gonna get up early, we're gonna take the flight. We're not sat together on the plane because, well, we booked the tickets last minute. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Adios. Adios. <laughs>